Hey guys, what's up? Alan here. And recently I've come on a little staycation in Trinidad at a place called Mahogany Ridge, which is up in the Paramin Hills. Now, I posted it up on Instagram and a lot of people were asking where it is, what is it like, how can they rent it. So I decided to put together a YouTube video kind of showcasing the place. I'll put all the links and everything below for you to contact them. It's a really outstanding property, probably one of my favorite places I have stayed in Trinidad during this COVID lockdown. So I'm going to give you all the information and just take you on a little cinematic tour of the area and hopefully afterwards maybe you are inclined to go and maybe stay here or rent it itself. It's actually available on Airbnb. I'll post the link down in the description below. Please if you do enjoy the video you find it helpful I do try to put out YouTube videos every Sunday. Some of them are staycation, some are exploring Trinidad and Tobago. Always outdoors, always beautiful. So if you do like it please subscribe, please like, turn on the notifications, the little bell up in the corner. And yeah, share it with your friends and family and help me grow on YouTube because I always really appreciate it. So without further ado, let's go and check out this property and I'll show you everything I can and explain it to the best of my ability. Hopefully it's useful to you. Thank you very much. Peace out guys. Let's go. So you swing left up into Paramin. When you get to the top of the first corner of this Paramin road, and you'll see the north deck, which I described in my most recent Paramin video. But instead of passing the north deck, to your right hand side, you'll see two private roads. And one of those roads is a private access road to Mahogany Ridge. It's a trail, well not a trail, but a road that leads directly along the ridge, hence the name, and takes you up to this most stunning, beautiful property owned by a lovely couple. Now, this is their private home, but they've decided over time to make it available to the public by advertising on Airbnb as a staycation kind of spot for Trinidad and Tobago. And it truly is spectacular. They've developed the house to add on an additional three rooms that are available for rent at any given time. Each room is enclosed with its own bathroom. And yeah, it's perfect for couples or two persons per room. Perhaps if you came with a group, you could rent all the rooms together. But it's really, really, really a gem of a spot. It's become one of the most sought after views in the country for people looking to do wedding photography, bird watching, landscape photography. There's a lot of weddings here, people get married here. People come to do yoga. It's really just a pristine, beautiful place to disconnect from the troubles of the normal world. This is the spot that you come to cut off, relax, put down your cell phone, although you will pick it back up to take pictures and show it off to your friends because it is just really lush and beautiful. The views are outstanding to your right hand side. You look across and you can see the point of Maracas Lookout, which is another famous spot in Trinidad when you're driving along the north coast. And to your left, you can see the Paramin Ridge and Shoro Island, which is a big island off the north coast of Trinidad and Tobago that you see only normally when you're going fishing or traveling by the TNT ferry. Whether you're a photographer or just a person coming looking to escape life, you can come here 
clear your mind, see beautiful things, there's so many birds, so much wildlife, and not to mention, the property is so well maintained, with beautiful flowers, there's fruit trees, crops, and they even have their own nature trail. When you do choose to stay at Mahogany Ridge, there's a, it's a bed and breakfast. So every morning they serve you a platter of toast, fresh banana bread, eggs, jams. It's a really, really good breakfast and an awesome way to start your day. Also takes away from the effort of having to prepare for yourself. There's also tea and coffee, everything you need to get your day started. And they're ready bright and early to greet you. They have a couple of staff members on site to make your experience just as really enjoyable and comfortable as possible. I mean, I can't stress enough how friendly and how great the people have been since we've been here. Super down to earth, super chilled. They're, they're here to make you feel relaxed and to give you the experience that you're paying for. And to me, it's so much bang for your buck. It's hard to say that there's any money lost in this experience. It's worth a lot more in my honest opinion. If you are feeling a little more adventurous, as I said, there is the nature trail that goes through about 15 to 20 minutes walk of virgin forest, cut specifically for guests. Extremely safe and private, there is no other access other than staying on this property to get to these trails. Another option which is very near to the house itself, there is a hike that goes down to a bay called Paragut Bay, which I'm going to make a separate video on. Um, but pretty much, you can either drive using a 4x4 vehicle, not a car, a car cannot go wrong. The trail is a bit bumpy and a very steep dirt road. You can also hike it and I believe it's about 2 miles long. I would say that the hike is maybe 7 out of 10 in terms of a challenge because it's steady downhill for the entire walk and then of course when you finish you do have to walk back uphill which can be very challenging if your fitness levels are not moderately decent or if you may have any knee or leg problems. It could be very difficult or painful for somebody in that situation. However, the beach is basically uninhabited. There's almost never anybody there other than once in a while ever tour groups. So I highly recommend you check out this beach, it's gorgeous. As I said, I'm gonna do another video on that when I go to check it out later on today with my girlfriend. It just goes to show you the options that you do have when you come to visit this place. There's a lot more going on than just sitting down in a bedroom and taking in beautiful views. However, if that is your choice, you're more than comfortable enough to sit here, chill in one of the two gazebos that are available on the property and just relax, read a book, listen to music, do whatever you want. I can't stress enough that this place is designed to free your mind. The only negative I can think of about a property like this is the envy that you feel that you don't own it yourself. This is what I call life goals for me personally. I would love nothing more than to own or live in a place like this one day in my life. And Paul and his wife really have something special going on here. As I said, breakfast is provided each morning. Um, in terms of food, you are allowed access to all of their cooking cutlery, their pots, their pans, their stove, their microwave. It's a communal kitchen, it belongs to the owner, so it is their kitchen. So of course be very respectful, but they give you free range of the house in terms of the living room and the kitchens, etc. The rooms have a mini fridge in it to store water and different snacks. However, I do advise you bring simple items to cook yourself, dinner and lunch. There are of course no shops and no groceries up here, so you need to bring whatever you need in advance. Through their website, even if you're not staying here to um, just have a little vacation, people can rent this spot for weddings. They charge a rate to come up here and take photography as well. So photographers like myself, if you want to take wedding pictures of the bride and groom, you can rent this spot to give them really beautiful pictures for their engagement or their wedding day. So this is the nature trail. That's part of the um, estate up here. It's actually really, really beautiful. It's about a 15 minute walk into the forest and you come out to a clearing that's overlooking the ocean and they've planted flowers along the trail that lead up to this point in time is really, really beautiful. What they've done with this property is truly gorgeous and really amazing. Again, another big highlight of coming to stay here if you're really looking for a nice getaway, you know? It's truly, truly spectacular. We're nearly to the end of the trail. Thank you very much to our free tour guides that have come along with us. And they're running all ahead now. The end is in sight. And here you have the end of the little nature trail. It goes a little further along the ridge, but essentially this is the end of the property that you'll be staying at. And you get this really, really beautiful view of the ocean and the peninsula out there. 
really really is lovely super easy walk as well as i said it took about 15 minutes but very very um easy for all fitness levels no challenge whatsoever but very very beautiful and it's just really really nice fresh air of course you could get it on a day where they have better weather but i'm enjoying the rain That's my video showing you Mahogany Ridge. I hope you really enjoyed it. As I said, I'm trying to produce a video every Sunday if possible. Um, you know again that we're still in lockdown and we're waiting for Mr. Prime Minister to tell us what we could do with our lives. But until then, I'll do my best to find new ways to innovate and create. And staycations are a great way to do that. There's so many little beautiful spots in Trinidad and Tobago that people overlooked possibly before COVID. And I encourage you to go out and explore your country. Trinidad is insane and has so much to offer whether you're staying somewhere overnight or whether you're taking a free trip to a beach, to a waterfall, to a river. Go and see your country before you jump out and travel somewhere else for free. It's cheaper and people would come from all over the world to experience the paradise that we just have on our doorstep. So I highly, highly recommend you get off your seat and go and check out your country. Just take a drive. You don't have to be a photographer. You do not have to be somebody who's an explorer or a hiker to go and see your country a little bit more. And on that note, thank you, thank you very, 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 very much for tuning into my video. Please like, please subscribe, very important. Hit the notification bell in the corner so you can see when my videos are released every week. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below for me and I'll respond to you as soon as I can. Other than that, everybody have a really safe week. Peace out. Thank you very much. Goodbye.